Today, diving has become a popular sport and enjoys a widespread following. Concurrent with this popularity, enormous forward strides have been taken towards diving in complete safety, both in equipment engineering and in the research conducted on the reactions of the human body in the underwater environment. All of various problems involving diving were first resolved with strategies based on experimental processes which were further quantified by increasingly sophisticated mathematical calculations. Models and profiles were adopted based on studies that considered only the exchange of gases between biomass and inspired air, that is, dissolved gases in tissue and blood, and free gases in air we breathe. In recent years, the diving computer was invented. This electronic device, which automatically performs calculations in real time, makes the dive easier and more enjoyable. In-depth studies have revealed, however, that beyond the phenomenon of gas still dissolving in the body, another very important factor is also present. The formation of micro-bubbles in the tissue and blood from small seeds excited into growth by compression-decompression. Thus, the RGBM was born. Reduced Gradient Bubble Model. RGBM is a mathematical algorithm that considers in parallel both the passage of gas from its dissolved state into its free state. The coupling between free and dissolved states and new theories about microbubbles that grow from seed nuclei. These seed nuclei are most likely produced by exercise, that is, frictional excitation, tribonucleation due to tissues rubbing together. This means even safer dive. The microbubbles do not cause noticeable symptoms, but they are nevertheless present and can only be detected after using sophisticated laboratory instruments. They can be present in tissues and blood. These microbubbles in tissues and blood can create pathological complications after the dive. The phenomenon is more evident in some cases. Multi-day dives, that is, diving for a series of consecutive days without a break as happens during diving holidays when people participate in dives every day during a concentrated period in order to take best advantage of the location and situation. Repetitive dives, that is, multiple dives during the course of a 24-hour period as in the case of instructors or dive master. Inverted profile dive, in which the second dive of the day is made to a greater depth than the first. Using a sample of 20,000 monitored dives, statistical studies have found the presence of microbubbles in the bloodstream in 67% of cases in divers who used traditional decompression models. The studies on RGBM were developed by Dr. Bruce Winkie, a scientist at the laboratory in Los Alamos in the United States. Dr. Winkie is the author of many scientific publications about phenomena connected to underwater diving. He is a consultant with various universities and research centers, and is considered to be among the world's top authorities in the field of research on decompression theories. 